Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Think about it Thursday. What have I been thinking about? You can't turn on the computer without reading a story or watching a video about the upcoming ammo shortage. And it raises a huge concern because a lot of us got hit very hard financially the past couple years with the ammo shortage and our stockpile. It, it, was reduced significantly due to the cost and there was a huge shortage and we saw prices skyrocket now we're hearing that this is all going to happen again and we're we're going to be in that same type of ammo crisis in this country we must first realize that the old time prices of ammo the $15 box of 45 ACP target loads or the $7 box of 9 millimeter isn't coming back I hear a lot of people say, I'm holding out, I'm waiting, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait till prices get so low that it reminds me of 10, 12 years ago. And I don't think they're coming back. You look at the prices of vehicles, the, the $22,000 brand new vehicle is gone and it's not coming back. Inflation has hit this country big time. And in, in the past, we saw that there was a shortage of primers, a shortage of lead, and many other components that make ammo, which created the shortage. So what is happening today? Well, Vista Outdoors, the nation's largest ammo producing company, manufacturer, they produce Federal, Spear, CCI, many others, Blazer. They said that there's going to be a shortage of gunpowder. That's the problem this time, along with other components is the way the CEO mentioned it. Why is there going to be a shortage of gunpowder? Vista Outdoors donated for free a million rounds of ammo to Ukraine. They said this one is because of a global crisis. Well, there is a global crisis. There's no doubt about that. But what's going to happen because of that, which is what everybody is saying, is that there is going to be a huge hit to the American civilian market. Therefore, we're going to see prices increase. And people are, are panicking and they're, they're freaking out and they're saying, I, I need to, to get as much ammo as I possibly can. And it is my belief that if you have an extra 50 bucks in your pocket and you need ammo, yes, you should get that. But should we really create a, a major crisis? The word on the street is that in 2024, which is only a couple weeks away, we are going to see increases in ammo costs. What type of increases are they projecting? Well, they're saying 1% to 7% for most types of ammo. Now, this is nothing like it was before. If those numbers remain true, this is nothing like it was before. In 2020 and 21 and 22, we are seeing double, triple, quadruple the price of ammo. And to just even find it was a huge score. This is projected 1% to 7%. So should we hit that panic button right away and say we need to get as much ammo as we possibly can because there's going to be a huge shortage? I'm not quite there yet, but I'm getting close. What could affect this? Well, one of the things that affected the previous ammo shortage was hoarders and resellers. Hoarders, I don't have that much of a problem with. I think all of us should be hoarders to a certain degree. We should have a good supply of ammo, whatever that means, 10,000 rounds to some people, 1,000 rounds to others. It all depends on how much you shoot and train. But the resellers really put a hurting on the American market. And that uh, the, those are the people that buy up everything they possibly can for the sole purpose of reselling and that creates a shortage at the local gun store is this going to be so substantial that we need to panic i'm not there i don't think it is but i want to know what you think because when vista outdoors that has all those types of ammo represents all those companies including remington that i did not mention donates a million it, it puts a hurting, but if that turns out to not be enough and they donate another million, yeah, we could be in a huge ammo crisis. If the resellers start with their plan to buy and sell a bunch of ammo, yes, that could certainly put 
a hurting. Some people call that good business. Possibly so, but it's not good for the gun culture and, and the people who really want to shoot and train. It's not quite panic in my opinion. I've been thinking a lot about this. One to seven percent, say it's a four percent increase. I don't think that's so much to keep people away from the range. I don't think that's so much to hit the panic button and, and create this crisis, but it will certainly go up like everything else in this country. Can we just face it that this, this country is a mess right now, a complete mess, and the ammo will certainly be affected. What I really want to know on Think About It Thursday is how do you feel? Are you hitting that panic button or are you just sitting back waiting to see what's going to happen or are you just doing what you've always done, pick up a couple boxes and move on and when you get paid do the same thing and eventually it adds up it will be a very interesting time it's certainly not in our favor but we'll see if if this thing turns into a crisis or if it's just a bump in the road if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe